principal, Ma'am Marina Diniega, to all the faculties of Olongapu City Elementary School, my fellow co-parents, and to all students watching this webinar, Good afternoon! Welcome, Welcome to Brigada Pagbasa 2021! Today, my mother and I will be reading you a story entitled, Sowing the Seeds. Let's begin! Long time ago, all birds are enjoying their happy and carefree life, flying wherever they want to go. But as time passed by, environmental changes brought the entire bird's race stuck in the mountain, where most of the few kinds of trees are left which makes up their homes. But not all kinds of birds stay in the mountain. Some are still living in the shore, in the low grounds, and other places. One of these birds is Kabayan. Kabayan is a sea eagle. All he ever did was flew across the seamless sky and fetch fish in the vast ocean for food. But after the world changes, he was one of the birds who are assigned to gather seeds from different places so that birds could sow a new breed of trees that will serve home for their kind. One day, Kabayan visited his friend Matanglawin to bring her the daily ration of seeds that Matanglawin will teach her kids to sow in the bare parts of the mountain. Good day, dear friend! Here are your daily seed ration. Try sowing early with your hatchlings so that they could easily learn how to do it. Wait! I'm not sure if I could do this. Life is hard. We can't barely eat. I don't know if I could teach them to do it. Were those hatchlings not a fruit of your loin? You got more than what you needed to teach them. Maybe you just haven't seen how far you've come. I'm not sure if I could do this longer. How long would it take for us to get all our lives back the way it used to be? My dear friend, only the one knows what the future holds. Just be yourself and you are good to go. Okay then, thank you. We'll head directly to the bare parts of the mountain and sow this to generate new sprouts. See you again tomorrow then. Sure do. Matanglawin then took her kids to the bare parts of the mountain. She finds it really difficult to teach her hatchlings to do it. So, Matanglawin started to sow the seeds herself. One by one, she picks the seed onto her beak and plant it in the bare land. Without knowing, her hatchlings are keenly observing what she's doing. Soon enough, her hatchlings started to pick one seed into their beak and plant it. Matanglawin was so surprised seeing her hatchlings started doing what she does. From there, she learned that the best way to teach her hatchlings is to show them how she'd do it. The other birds were pleased to see how Matanglawin was able to teach her hatchlings so they follow what she does. The next day comes, but the weather was never been so good. Without the seeds, the future of the mountain will be uncertain. The world needs to heal, and the sowing must continue. But the cruel storm make it difficult for Kabayan and his kind to gather and pick up the seeds for the sowing. Matanglawin was very worried about her friend Kabayan and about her hatchling's future. So, amidst the wicked weather, she took an enormous leap of faith and put her bravery into action. 
Matanglaw in flew out in the vast sky and helped her friend to gather seeds and take it back home. But the weather was so rough that it will be difficult to carry the seeds in a single bag. So, Kabayan and Matanglawin encouraged the other birds to help out. Other birds were so amazed of what Kabayan and Matanglawin was trying to do. So without a doubt, one by one, they started to help out. Amidst the weather, those who can carry more seeds carry them and share it back home. Those who could not carry much still try their best to carry some at least for their own home. And day after day, those small efforts has brought new hope, not only for the bare mountain, but for the entire bird race. The end. Wow, that story was too short but seems so familiar. Yes, it is. It's just like what's happening around us right now. What do you mean? We are stuck inside our home just like how most of the birds are stuck in the mountain. Mm. So, you are thinking that the characters in our story symbolizes somebody in real life. Then... Who do you think do the characters in the story symbolizes? I think Matanglawin represents you, okay. our beloved parents or guardians. How about the hatchlings? We are the hatchlings, the children, students, or learners. Well, how about you, Kabayan? Who do you symbolize? I think I represent the teachers, faculties, and the entire educators. Actually, the whole story symbolizes more than just what its characters have shown us. The environmental change is real and the raging storm could be the current pandemic that we are facing. But I just hope that like the characters in the story, we should also take part and play our part well in real life so that will be able to victoriously overcome our current situation. I believe that the seeds in the story are actually the lessons that our children should be learning in school. And just like Matanglawin, many parents felt less empowered in teaching their own children. But as a mother myself, I could definitely tell you that you can. We got all the help that we need. Kabayan, or the educators in real life are doing everything that they can do to reach out and make learning amidst this crisis to push through. As parents and facilitators at home, all we need to do is take that seed, show our kid how to do it, and let our own kids figure out their own way around it. So true, mom. And as a kid, I can say to all my fellow students that we can. We can learn amidst COVID-19. We just have to love our studies and try to enjoy it. Our teachers will surely help us through it. That's right. So remember, in this school year of 2021 to 2022, we can bridge the gap in education by working side by side. Educators, parents, and learners together. As Vincent van Gogh once said, great things are done by a series of small things brought together. Watch how our small collective efforts can turn this school year around. Thank you very much and God bless. Keep safe everyone. Bye! Bye.